guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do something a little bit different and I want to bring some more informative, informational content to you guys. I put out a little bit of a post on Instagram the other day and asked for what kind of content you wanted to see and it was an amazing response and the majority was more workouts, more information so that I can teach you guys basically what I know and hopefully we can share and reach as many people as possible. So it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. Um, to be honest, I fell just a little bit out of love with it. I think I kind of fell into the trap of feeling like I should be doing like clothing hauls and doing the life vlogs and I know you enjoy those. Hopefully I can still bring a couple of those to my channel, but yeah, this is more me. I enjoy teaching, it's what I do every day. Uh, with my clients and online and I missed it and I miss learning myself so I've delved into research, I've started reading a lot more, I've signed up to numerous different like subscription sites with Paul and I'm just reading and hopefully learning every day which is what we want. We should never stop learning guys. <laughs> so today's video is going to be how to make your waist appear smaller. I get this question quite a lot. My waist is not tiny at all. I mean, when I'm in prep, fair enough, it is quite small then. But it is all just an illusion. Um, so, how do we do that? How do we create that hourglass shape that everybody seems to be wanting, that is, you know, all over Instagram, that big booty. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> and that nice, tiny waist. Well, guys, it's just an illusion. So, we do that by working the back. But before we get into it, if you've ever struggled with training up a body, if you've ever felt silly, if you've ever kind of been stuck as to what to do, if you've ever wondered how you get a small waist, make sure you give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now I know that weightlifting can be scary, but what I'm going to do is take you through my top five favourite exercises. I'm going to show you how to do them. I'm going to talk you through the technique to make sure that you are doing them properly and safely. You're not going to injure yourself. I'm going to work that muscle to the best ability that we can to create that smaller waist. So even though I'm sure that most of you guys are female, I hope there's some guys out there, let me know in the comments below if you are male. Um, all these exercises are suitable for both. So there's not a different way to train from male to female. I'm sure you've read that there probably is, but weight training is weight training. You build your back the same as you do a guy. Girls, don't worry. We're not going to come out looking like the Hulk. What we are going to do is work that shape so you get these bits here. You know, the annoying bits that stick over the back of your bra and over your sports bra. We're going to target those so that when you're wearing your nice kind of strappy dress, even though summer in UK seems to be over right now, I'm looking out the window. Ooh. Um, hopefully you've got some summer holidays planned or the sun's going to, you know, show its face again. Fingers crossed. So, five exercises, they're going to target the two main things that we need to do when it comes to training back. The first of these is thickness, so the thickness of your muscle or the depth as it's otherwise known as. So this is when you stand side on and you can see those beautiful curves from the top behind your shoulder blades, right down to where some people have the dimples just above their bum and everything in between. So the muscles that go all the way from the top of your neck right down to the top of your bum, which are called erector spinae. So that is the thickness of your muscles. The second thing is the width. So that's what we see from the front and the back. So just underneath here, again, where your bra kind of sits, that is what's gonna help to create the illusion of that smaller waist. So if you see something that's nice and wide and there's something below it, the wider you get on top, the smaller that is gonna look. So that is the width of your back. So my go-to exercises to create the thickness of your back and those beautiful curves are barbell and dumbbell rows and there's quite a few different variations of those as well and then anything that's close grip <laughs> and anything that is close grip or narrow grip same kind of thing and reverse grip so close and narrow grip is like this if you're doing any kind of pull in motion and then reverse grip you're going to turn the palms of your hands towards your face like that and then you would pull down or towards you <laughs> and my go-to exercises for width really is a little bit simpler it's any kind of exercise but you just want to take a wider grip so whether that's a lat pull down it's a pull towards you or a row as long as you've got that wider grip you're really going to be targeting the width of your back and hitting those 
lats, it's just here. And finally, as with any kind of workout, if you don't feel the exercises and the burn and that muscle working, you can do unilateral, so that is just a single arm. So again, dumbbell rows, barbell row wouldn't have obviously work because you need two hands, unless you're super skilled and you can bond the barbell with one hand. I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, cables, um, you can do unilaterally as well, single-handed. And what that will do will give you a greater range of motion through some exercises. It will help you to feel that muscle because you can focus just on that one side. And it will obviously help to balance out the imbalances or strength imbalances that you might have. So if you're struggling to activate or feel that muscle working, then make sure that you do try these single-handed one at a time. So I'm going to stop rambling so we can get into the workout. So just jumping into a quick voiceover here, it's much easier to actually explain things. So the first exercise is a scapular retraction. Now this is something that I do as part of my warm up in an upper body workout. What you want to imagine is that you're pulling your shoulder blades right down into your lower back and that's going to help activate your lats which is what we're going to use to create that nice hourglass shape. So a dead hang from something that's taller than you, my feet are actually crossed underneath here. This leads perfectly into a lat pull down. So it's the same muscles that we've just warmed that we're using for this exercise. So a nice wide grip, tiny little arch in the upper back, which is gonna help to make sure that you are using those lats. You're keeping your elbows tucked forwards and you wanna to aim to pull down to the top of your chest. So nice and strong pull down and then control the exercise back up and get a good stretch in each rep as well. Swiftly moving on to a deadlift. Now, I personally prefer to do deadlifts with barbells, but I wanted to use a dumbbell for this example just to show that you can do it with uh, limited equipment. So you've got dumbbells or you can use a kettlebell instead. The main thing is making sure that you are bending at the hips. So you're sitting back into that exercise, keeping a nice neutral spine and those lats are pulled tight as well. So your arms are just following that straight line up and down. Then into unilateral or single arm dumbbell rows. These are really, really good if you have any strength imbalances. So you want to do the same amount of reps in your left arm as what you do your right. And I always start with my weaker side. So we're doing 10 reps here. I'm starting from the ground, pulling up. That dumbbell wants to come almost into your waist so that your lats are still tight. And again, nice and controlled down, power up. Now the last two, this exercise and the following one, we're going to do is a superset. So again, can be done with a barbell or with dumbbells. The first one is underhand grips. You can see my hands and my palms are facing forwards and away from me. I've got a nice neutral spine and I'm bent at the knees. That means that I get a greater range of motion. The second exercise, as you can see, is overhand. So if you do it with the barbell, you will have more of an overhand grip than with dumbbells, but you want to make sure again that spine stays nice and neutral and you're getting a good squeeze. If you've made it this far, thank you so, so much for coming along. I hope that you took something away from this. Like I say, it is a little bit different. I'm hoping to bring more content. Please let me know in the comments below what you think, what else you would like to see. It doesn't have to be workouts. It can be based around food and nutrition, supplements, that kind of thing. It'd be a big, big help if you let me know and make sure that you share this as well if it was something that you think someone else would find useful because the more people that we can reach, the more people we can help as well. Like I said before, if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe as well for the next one. Bye.